For our final interview tutorial, we wanted to show you a setup that we think is crucial to creating a sustainable case program at your institution. The idea behind this setup is to create a standard interview look that you could use over and over and give yourself consistent looking interviews. You would ideally leave this setup in a private space somewhere and use it when you need to interview new subjects. You can also use this basic interview setup on international shoots and locations, either by taking the gear with you or by having partners shoot in the same style for you. We've done this on location in Uganda, India, Brazil, Nepal, a wide variety of locations. It's something that's sustainable and that looks great and we're thrilled to share it with you. The key to making this interview setup work is to find a quiet location where you can control all the audio and all the light. This can be a classroom, a lecture hall. The most important thing is that you can shut all the windows and has very good audio. We start off by building the backdrop. This is a basic gray photo backdrop that's relatively inexpensive and can be purchased in most photo shores. We use a gray one to match in all our locations around the world. Once you have that in place uh, and you know where the subject is going to be sitting, uh, we're going to add in our key light, which again is the main light that goes on the interview subject. So this fills in their eyes and their face. Um, you're going to want to make sure that it's in a good position far enough away from them uh, so that it softens it a bit. But again, this is our main light that we're adding into the scene. After that, we add in a light for the backdrop. So in this case, we are hiding our light behind the chair so you won't see it. Uh, it's sort of a uh, out of focus light beam that adds some texture to the background, makes the shot look a little bit more interesting. And then we're adding in our backlight. So the, the point of this light, which is a very soft and, and subtle light, uh, is to just add some separation between the subject and the background. Uh, oftentimes you might not even notice it in a shot, but it is doing something uh, by separating uh, those two elements. Once our lights are in place, we're going to turn off the house lights uh, overhead and, and make any final adjustments. So again, we're looking at our three lights, our key light, our backlight, uh, and our background light. And if we need to increase the intensity at all, we might do that. Uh, we're also going to be checking our framing of our interview subject. And then, as always, we're checking those audio levels. Uh, we're checking to make sure that everything still sounds and, and looks as good as it can. And then once it's set up and rolling, it's an interview like any other. You want to focus on connecting to your subject and getting those magic moments. One point I'll make is that this interview setup also works very well for remote interviews. We often do an interview set up like this with a remote camera person and we join via Zoom. It's a way of doing professional quality video remotely. Well, we hope this quick introduction has been helpful. Now let's look at Brian actually set the interview up. Now we want to show you an interview setup that a lot of you can use in your organizations. It's a setup where we use a neutral background in case you want to bring multiple people in for interviews and have them all look the same. We're going to use a gray backdrop and three-point lighting. Let me show you how it works. The great thing about this setup is that it'll work in almost any small area where you can control lighting and sound. So it's a very useful setup that will allow your organization to record very professional looking interviews with a wide variety of people all in one location. We at Columbia have a permanent interview room set up with its lighting and use it to complement stories filmed on location by students using smartphones. It allows us to record professional looking and sounding interviews that complement that footage from the field. Brian starts out by putting up a simple 6 by 10 foot gray backdrop that can be easily purchased at most photo supply shops. He then sets up his key light and a small light that goes on the floor behind the chair. He adjusts the light behind the chair to make a nice beam of light on the backdrop that'll be just over the person's shoulder in the interview. And finally, Brian adds a small backlight. He then sets up his camera and brings in his interview subject. We won't start just quite yet. I'm just going to make some adjustments. With the interview subject sitting comfortably, Brian can turn down the house lights and, as always, help the subject place the all-important lavalier microphone in a place where it can't be seen but will still get good audio. 
And actually, if you could, maybe just hide the wire underneath uh, your jacket there. Like just the inside part. Like yeah, if, if you don't mind. With the interview subject sitting comfortably, Brian can do his final adjustments to the lighting and begin to test his audio and final focus. He's then ready to begin his interview. Joanne, tell me what your favorite part of your work is when you're working with, whether it's students or you know, executives, professionals, what do you find most satisfying about it? Well, that's a great question. And the, the thing that I actually find most satisfying, and I wonder if it's true for all professors, I don't know, but I feel like I really make a difference in how people feel about themselves. As always during the interview, the camera person and director must make sure that the audio, framing, and lighting remain consistent, as well as thinking through questions that will give answers that will drive the documentary stories forward. How we move our body actually changes our mind as well. And so if we sit or stand in a way that demonstrates confidence, we will actually start to feel confident.